Hello, my name is Shirin Yaqub. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of idrak.org. Idrak is the first Arab non-profit massive open online course platform launched by the Queen Rania Foundation for Education and Development in 2014 with the mission to revolutionize access to and delivery of education in the Arab world. So far, we have more than 600,000 learners from across the Arab world, and we have offered 37 courses in different areas and fields. We collaborate with Arab instructors and subject matter experts to create high-quality educational content in Arabic in an effort to enrich Arabic content online to eliminate the language barrier for Arab learners. We have recently adopted the Creative Commons license as a default license for drug courses and we're actively encouraging our partners to do so. As we collaborate with instructors to create co online courses, we also take into consideration challenges related to technology and access. So we usually create low bandwidth versions of video lectures and we sometimes offer video transcripts that are printable. As more K-12 and university level courses are hosted on DRAG, there is a growing opportunity to enhance learner support and curriculum design through the use of online learner data. As such, we're opening up our data and launching research.idrag to enable research communities and educational researchers to tap into our uh, learner data and use our data analysis tools in order to inform curricula design and learner support. From our experience working with Arab instructors and subject matter experts, we have come to realize that it's absolutely crucial that they have access to institutional level support through properly functioning e-learning and learning design centers that bring together interdisciplinary teams made of instructional designers, experts in assessments and media production professionals. There is no doubt that the MENA region is going through critical times. And at times of crisis, we all have the responsibility towards our societies. Our universities are no exception. So they need to examine the expected role of them beyond their walls, physical or otherwise, to draw new alternative futures for the youth and giving them hope that tomorrow will be better.